welcome to my new video series on the 85th in Portugal. They were newly promoted to the second league this season and I'll be starting from there with this club. I have a history with the club in football manager 2009. I played with them all the way from the bottom to the top and won the league at Sarah and Sucker Ace, which was the first time I've ever been achieved with this club. And I went on and bought the club shirt, so I actually own this team shirt at home. Um, I'll post a picture of some point of myself wearing the shirt uh, to, the, to the video series as well. So to start with, as you can see, the club was founded in 1958 by a professional. So I can still offer part-time contracts having started the game. Uh, national reputation, and they play in a yellow and black kit. Uh, you can see my attempt at a created manager there, the face is a bit screwed up, for some reason the generation makes faces a little bit greyer and I'm not able to work out exactly what the problem is with that right now. Anyway, we've played a 14,000 seat stadium uh, and then looking at the rest of the club, the club history, as you can see the won a group in the, in the Portuguese Championship twice, 2015 and 2016. In 2016, they finally managed to gain promotion, um, and they had four previous third division titles. In the report from the from my assistant manager, Primo, who actually used to play for the club, um, and in my playthrough in Football Manager 2009, he was my left back. Um, as you can see, we have a great defensive midfielder and also a position that has got a lot of depth. Um, our left winger has a lot of depth as well. The problem positions are definitely left back and right wing. We, we don't have a player who's good enough to be in the position. We also have very little left in the transfer budget and we are over our wage budget, which means that we're going to have to some players before we can start bringing in some new players. In saying that, as you can see looking at our staff situation, we don't have many staff at all, we have no scouts, and we have one fitness coach and our assistant manager. That's definitely the first place you're going to be looking for improvements on this club. A uh, quick look at the squad, and you can see looking through the squad the severe weaknesses in some of the positions. We have some really, really good players straight up out of the straight up though with Perino, who um, the attacking left midfielder who you can see is very professional, isn't a head isn't a header, um, very good with a head and is very one footed. Um, given that we're playing on the left wing with a left very good left foot, I don't expect it to be much of an issue. Um up front we have a young striker who is a decent level for most Premier League sides, which is better than we are, that's the level above us. And already from having played a couple of friendlies, he looks like he really is the goods and will actually stay in the squad and I'll pick him around as well. Our centre backs are a reasonably good pairing as well. They're both good players for our level and do a good job for the team under the at the back and you can see our centre Midfielders are reasonable as well. Really, the only position we need to work on from the start is our left back. As you can see, not very, not as good as the others. And our right winger, no, it's not even a right winger. Our best right winger here, who is actually a right midfielder, and we don't have a winger. The advantage we have is I play a four-one-two-three. Uh, which is what the club plays in real life as well. It's actually where I originally started my idea of using this from, and it seems to work reasonably well. Um, in later times, I may move the defensive midfielder up into an attacking midfield role, depending on whether our defence is solid enough to accept that or not. If not, we'll continue with this, which means we have the players to fit the roles, and we can get on with it from there. Uh, schedule, start on the 31st of July with the League Cup game and our league competition will start on the 6th of the 8th. As such, I will be cancelling these two friendlies and probably that one as well and creating some more friendlies in between these two to 
to get us through until the end of the get us through the season and get going. Thanks for watching a quick overview of the club. Hope you enjoyed it 